Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pulp Hero Audio. Uh, today in this video, I want to talk about some comments uh, made by comic book writer Tom King. Uh, now, who is Tom King, you might ask, if you don't keep up uh, with current writers of comic books? Well, Tom King, he's a multiple award-winning comic book writer, uh, of such comics as Mr. Miracle and Batman. Uh, but he's also a bit controversial, uh, with some people loving his writing, uh, while others seem to despise it. Now, I've read enough of Mr. King's comics uh, that it is my opinion and I think even King's haters would even agree that he is a talented writer. Uh, but the controversy seems to come more from his interpretations and depictions of beloved, well-known characters. Now, I don't think his actual writing ability is really under consideration. So what about these comments? Uh, well, in a recent interview with uh, Newsarama, uh, King discussed some of his thoughts on the most recent comic book character uh, that he will be writing. Uh, that being DC Comics' Adam Strange. And for those who aren't familiar with Adam Strange, uh, he is a character who finds deeply rooted influences uh, in pulp heroes like Flash Gordon and Edgar Rice Burroughs' John Carter of Mars, especially. So, King had this to say about Adam Strange, Flash Gordon, uh, and John Carter. And I quote, the thing with Adam Strange is, he's from this long tradition of Flash Gordon and these sort of characters that live on our planet and they're normal people and then they go off to another planet and they're incredible people, right? John Carter from Mars. It was like a common trope and it's a metaphor obviously for colonialism. It's that idea that the second son goes to India and becomes a king. I wanted to look at that metaphor and look at what it means to live these two lives. Your fantasy life in one place and your real life in another place. And use that as a metaphor to look at where we are as a culture now, where our reality is clashing with our fantasy of ourselves. Okay, Mr. King, uh, some of that sounds kind of interesting. Uh, but what was that about John Carter and Flash Gordon being obvious metaphors for colonialism? Is it obvious? Is it even true at all? Uh, or is King completely off base here? And for that matter, what exactly is colonialism? Uh, well, for the non-historian types, uh, here is a quick Google search definition for you. Colonialism. The practice of acquiring full or partial political control over another country, occupying it with settlers, and exploiting it economically. And with the bit about India, I assume King is alluding in particular to white colonialism of places like India and Africa. So, is that what John Carter and Flash Gordon are obvious metaphors for? Colonialism? Well, last I checked, uh, John Carter was one guy. Flash Gordon was one guy. Adam Strange is one guy. Uh, now, that 
hardly sounds like an occupation. And I certainly don't think any of those characters exploited anything economically. Uh, you know, Carter and Strange especially, uh, you know, they, they came to adopt most of the culture uh, they found themselves in. Uh, rather than you know asserting their own uh, on the culture that they found themselves in, uh, both John Carter and Adam Strange uh, married a native woman uh, and bore offspring. Uh, you know they weren't you know harbingers of any sort of colonial invasion or or anything of that nature. So, yes, I think Tom King is reading way too much into these pulp heroes and their spiritual descendant of Adam Strange. Because, you know, it seems that these days everything has to be dark and foreboding. You know, some, some guilt-ridden reminder of the worst chapters of human history, which do nothing but serve to further the political and cultural and racial divides, you know, that we see out there in the world. So, you know, maybe, Mr. King, John Carter, Flash Gordon, and Adam Strange are actually quite simple. I mean, most of us dream and fantasize of being something greater than we are. Uh, an opportunity to escape uh, some of the humdrum daily grind uh, that we find ourselves in in our regular life. And it's often this, this idea that, you know, it's not us, but where we are that limits us. Uh, and we think, you know, oh, if only we were transported uh, to some faraway exotic locale where no one knows us, you know, we could, we could be something different, we could be something better, something greater than what we are. You know, so whether it's John Carter of Mars, or Barsoom, if you prefer, uh, Flash Gordon on Mongo, or, or Adam Strange on the planet Ran. You know, these heroes allow us to live out that fantasy. And perhaps it's that simplicity that makes those characters the timeless heroes that they are and allows our dreams to soar to the red sands of Mars and beyond. Thanks for listening. Later.